Okay, time to introduce a great local comic all the way from Hollywood, County Down. It is the fantastic, brilliant Shane Tom! Hey. Oh, is everyone all right, yeah? Good, uh, give me a shout if you're on Facebook. Anybody on Facebook, give me a shout. Uh, if you're over 60 and on Facebook, give me a shout. My dad uh, is 61, I'm still on Bebo, okay. Uh, uh, my dad's 61, and uh, about a week ago, he, he came up to me and in, in a very odd way, he said, um, can you get me on the Facebook? It's like, well, I'll get you on and let you know what's happening, because he can't work computers. And um, I said, I'll, I'll fill you in what's happening, I'll let you know what the crack is. And he, he's a bit senile, he's 61. And, um, <laughs> and he, he's also quite confrontational, and, and the two mixed whenever I went up to him a couple of days after this and said, here, John up the street wrote near a wall. <laughs> he did what? My dad starts filling up a bucket with fairy liquid and a wire brush. <laughs> Tell me this, what do you do that with? Obviously just his mouse. <laughs> and um, we live next door to a woman called Sheila, who's about 95. And I was like, by the way, um, Sheila poked you when you were sleeping last night. <laughs> I said, that, that wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> um, nice to be here. The, the worst gig, I just want to tell you about the worst gig I ever did um, was in Dungannon, the comedy hotspot. <laughs> that is Dungannon. And um, on the way up, it, it started terribly. This was about two years ago. It started terribly. Do we all remember the snow that, that comes once a year? Um, and it's just a nightmare and a massive inconvenience, especially if you're driving. And, I see the snow like a mental ex-girlfriend in that twice a year you go down to your living room, pull back your curtains and it's just there in your front garden. <laughs> and your first thought is, I'm going to have to take a spade to that. <laughs> then you think I may as well wrap up and have a play in it, sure. <laughs> Um, but, but, but this gig in Dungannon was a talent show, and I normally just do stand-up gigs or something like this, but it was a talent show. So I thought I'll go and do it, the prize was a grand, it might be all right. And I thought there would be other comedians, but it was a real working man's pub, and it was 14-year-old girls singing Rihanna songs for the pleasure of 50-year-old farmers, right, is what it was. <laughs> and I strolled on to do a bit of, <laughs> of stand-up, and I was supposed to do 20 minutes, but I did about seven and a half seconds. <laughs> and said, if you all give me a massive round of applause, I'll just leave. And they took the roof off the place, right? And, um, and I thought, what a nightmare. And what actually went wrong with the gig was, um, I was waiting to come on, and unlike Dermot, who brought me on very nicely, the barman was in charge of bringing the acts on, and I was the first act on. There'd never been comedy at this bar before, so I'm waiting in the wings behind the curtain to come on. And this guy took the microphone, intimidating guy, and there were some people talking at the back, and instead of just going, guys, keep the noise down a bit, he took the microphone and started, right? Took the mic, he goes, hey, hey, hey! And then he said this, and I'll never forget this as an introduction to a gig, ever. He said, we well, a wee mad fella here. I'm gonna try a bit of stand-up comedy. <laughs> and it was an absolute nightmare. Not one laugh the entire way through. And um, on, on the way out, this guy stopped me, and I was just leaving the gig, but I was still on stage, so it was terribly awkward. And this guy stopped me at a camera, and he said, can I take your photo for the Tyrone Courier newspaper? <laughs> yes, ladies. <laughs> I'm that guy. <laughs> Page 34. And, um, and I was like, of course you can. And, and thought, don't just stand there like the gig. I pose like this, right? Like big, stupid grin, right? The thumbs up. And, and forgot about the gig, just left, and did go home and forget about it. But a week later to the day, my mate James from Dungallon phoned me and said, are you sitting down? Said, yeah. He said, you're in the throne career this week. I'm living the dream. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> and um, I said, is it just a bit of text as to who was in the competition, who won, and that sort of thing? He said, no, 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 it's a full page photo of you <laughs> with the caption, Shane Todd tried to make him laugh. <laughs> um, you've been amazing. I'm Shane Todd. Thank you very much.